glad you're with us on this Tuesday edition of Take 5 here at The Journey and hope that you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful week. We want to inspire you today. You know, this is uh, what I call Love Week. It's Valentine's Day and uh, even in the natural and even in the spiritual, they coincide together here that we're to love one another. You know, I'm reminded of the, of, the, of the horse that we had, one of the horses that we actually had growing up. Her name was Ruth. Ruth was an ex um, racehorse. She's actually uh, a trotter. And so uh, anyhow, my brother retired her and she was at our farm. My dad had a large farm and whenever we would walk Ruth, Ruth was okay. But any time that you got out of a walk, she just couldn't help it. She would just begin to fire up that she was going to get faster and faster and faster and faster. So one of the local pastors came over, he loved to ride horses, and so my brother put him on Ruth. Well, long story short, he didn't understand that if you begin to get Ruth out of a walk, what would begin to happen is simply this. She would speed up because she just couldn't help it. It was in her blood, it was in her DNA. And you know, this is the way that it is with God. No matter what happens, this is God's DNA. He loves us. He is crazy about us. And really, God explains in the scriptures to us, as I read the scripture here in a moment, that if you really love God, you see how much you love God as you love people. There's no other way around it. The what, the, how much that you love God will be reflected in the way that you love other people. It's an equal sign right there. So listen to this scripture found in 1 John 4 verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another. Let us see the best in people. Spur them on. Encourage them. No matter what they've done, you still love them. And it says, for love is of God. That's what he infused in our spirit. When the Holy Spirit came into our life, he put love inside us, the fruit of love that should continue to grow. And it says, and everyone that is born of God and knoweth God. And it says, he that loveth not, loveth, he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. So if you can't love, you can't say, I love God, but you don't love people. Really, you don't. You're not letting God move through you because God says the amount of love that you have for people is the amount of love that you love God. It's an equal sign. Well, I love you. I want you to say to yourself this day, that God is a good God and the devil is a bad devil.